Hi, welcome to this Corbin Maths primary video on think of a number type questions. So here's a typical question. Hannah thinks of a number. She adds nine and her answer is 30. What was the number Hannah started with? So first of all, let's think about this in terms of what, we've, what information we've been told. We've been told she thinks of a number. We've then been told she adds nine. And then we've been told that the answer is equal to 30. And we've been asked to figure out what the missing number is. Okay. Now, if we're doing these type of questions, what I would always say to students is to work backwards. We know that we have added nine. So to work backwards, we're going to do the inverse, the opposite. So the opposite of adding nine is subtract nine. So if we do 30, take away nine or subtract nine, we're going to get 21. And that's it. So our answer is 21. And if we just check it, 21 plus nine is 30. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Kyle thinks of a number, he subtracts five, and his answer is seven. What was the number Kyle uh, started with? So first of all, we know that he thought of a number, and then he subtracted five, and then his answer is seven. So to figure out the number, we're gonna work backwards. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the inverse of the opposite of adding or of subtracting five, and the opposite of subtracting five is adding five. So if we add five, we're gonna get our answer. Seven add five is 12. And let's test it, 12 take away five is seven. So our answer is 12. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Tilly thinks of a number and she multiplies it by six. So she thinks of a number and she multiplies it by six and her answer is 42. And we've been asked to figure out the number she started with. So the inverse of multiplying by six will be dividing by six. So we're going to do 42 divided by six and 42 divided by six is seven. So Tilly started with seven and let's test it. Seven times six is 42. Right, our next question. Our next question's um, now, it's Sophie thinks of a number. She divides it by three and her answer is five. What was the number Sophie started with? So we've been told that Sophie thinks of a number. She divides it by three and her answer is five. So we're gonna work backwards. So working backwards, we're going to the inverse of dividing by three is to multiply by three. So five times by three is 15. And if we check our answer, 15 divided by three is five. So her number was 15. Okay, we've now got a question which has got two steps. Stanley thinks of a number. He multiplies it by three. So he multiplies it by three. He then adds five and his answer is 23. And we've been asked to figure out what number Stanley started with. So whenever we're doing this, it's important that we work backwards, okay? And we're working backwards doing the inverse operation each time. So he started with 20, or he started with a number, he times it by three, he added five, and he got 23. So working backwards, first of all, we're gonna subtract five, and 23 take away five is 18. And then we're going to do the opposite of times by three, so we're gonna divide by three, and 18 divided by three is six. So Stanley started with the number six, and let's test it. Six times three is 18, plus five is 23. Okay, our next question. Our next question says, Thomas thinks of a number, he subtracts seven, and then he multiplies by two. So he multiplies by two, and he gets an answer of 26. And the question says, what was the number Thomas started with? So working backwards, the last thing he done was times by two, so we're going to divide by two. So that's gonna give us 13. And then he, he subtracted seven, so we're going to add seven to work backwards. And we've got that Thomas would have started with 20, just working backwards. And let's test it. 20 take away seven is 13 times by two is 26. Okay, and our next question. Pip thinks of a number and he adds one, and then he divides by four. So Pip thinks of a number, he adds one, and then he divides by four, and his answer is five. And the question says, what was the number Pip started with? So again, we're gonna work backwards. So he, the last thing Pip done was divide by four. So we're going to, first of all, times by four, and five times four is 20. And then uh, Pip, uh, Pip added one to begin with, so we're gonna do the opposite, which is minus and one. And our answer then would be 19. And if we test it, 19 plus one is 20, divided by four is five. That's it. So whenever we're doing questions like this, it's very important we just remember the steps that Pip did. So he added one and divided by four. So we're gonna work backwards and do the opposite. So we're gonna times four and then take away one.
Okay, we're going to do one more question, but this question is just, is just a little bit different this time. So the last question says, Emma thinks of a whole number and she multiplies by three. She then runs her answer to the nearest 10 and her answer is 20. And the question is to write down all the possible numbers that Emma could have started with. So it might not necessarily be one number this time, there could be several. So Emma thinks of a number, she multiplies it by three, and then she rounds it to the nearest 10 and her answer is 20. And we've got to think what the possible answers could have been. So what I'm going to do in this question is first of all think, you know, could the numbers been rounded to the nearest 10? So let's write down all the numbers that could be rounded to the nearest 10 to give 20. So the numbers that could round to the nearest 10 to be 20 are 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Obviously 20 would round to 20 to the nearest 10. Um, 21, 22, 23 and 24, but not 25 because that would round up to 30 to the nearest 10. And so now what we've got to do is we've got to divide by three to figure out what Emma may have started with. But there's lots of different numbers here and we did know that in the question it says whole number. So we're looking for numbers that we can divide by three. So we can, we can divide 15 by three. We can't divide to get a whole number. We can't get a whole number by dividing 16 by three or 17 by three, but we would get a whole number if we divided 18 by three, not 19 or 20 but 21 would work, you could divide that by three. Uh, 22, we wouldn't get a whole number divided by dividing 22 by three, or 23 by three, but 24 would work. So let's divide them by three and see what numbers they would have been to start with. So Emma could have started with five, because 15 divided by three is five, or six, because 18 divided by three is six, or seven, because 21 divided by three is seven, or eight. So the possible numbers that Emma could have started with would have been five, six, seven, or eight. And that's it.